Hit the first case starts with Vikram running through a valley covered with snow, desperately calling out a name, Sushma. He finds her locked behind a door and struggles to break it open. However, to his horror, she is set on fire, right in front of his eyes. Cut to the present day. He is being advised by his therapist to quit his job, as she believes that it is just worsening his mental health and he needs a break. But Vikram is adamant and believes that letting go of his job is not an option. He is in a relationship with Neha, who is a forensic expert. While it is a loving relationship, he has withheld his past even from her. Every time she tries to get him to open up about his past, his answer remains the same, some other time. The therapist tries talking to Neha to convince Vikram to quit his job. Neha agrees with the therapist and begs Vikram to listen to her. But Vikram is adamant, which triggers Neha to finally lose her patience. She angrily questions him that when he doesn't talk to her, never shares anything with her, then what are they in a relationship for? Vikram is shaken up on hearing this and he angrily agrees to take a temporary break, but not before saying that it will change nothing. Elsewhere, a girl by the name of Prithi steps out of her house for an outing. Before she leaves, she gets a call to which she angrily replies to the person to stop bothering her. As she drives on the highway, her car breaks down. Prithi is waiting by the sidewalk, unsure of what to do when a police car passes her by. The inspector named Ibrahim, seeing Prithi, inquires whether she needs any help. Prithi tells him that her car has broken down and she asks to borrow his phone. She calls her dad and asks him to come pick her up. Ibrahim leaves, considering the problem solved. When he reaches the station, he sees that he has missed a file and goes back to get it. He notices Prithi on the other side of the road talking to someone in a blue car and assumes that it is her father. But in a turn of events, when he is going back to his station, he sees an old man waiting by Prithi's car. Upon inquiring, he finds that this man is actually her father. He tells him about the blue car and assures him that Prithi must have gone out with a friend. He also tells him to contact him in case Prithi doesn't return. As fate would have it, Prithi doesn't return and her parents angrily stomp into the police station berating Ibrahim for not waiting with her. Ibrahim tells them in a strict tone to watch their tone and file the complaint so that he can start the investigation. He starts to look into the matter by trying to track down the blue car, but is unable to find any lead as no such car was caught on camera. But to his bad luck, Prithi's parents have complained about his behavior, causing him to be suspended and removed from the case. Two months past the incident and Vikram, who is on his vacation gets a call that Neha is missing. He rushes back to his job and requests to be assigned the case, but is refused because of his proximity to the victim. Upon some independent investigation, Vikram finds out that Neha had made some breakthrough in the case of a missing girl, Prithi, and believes that her disappearance could be connected to that. Vikram investigates Prithi's disappearance, he starts getting involved in it on a level independent of his desire to find Neha. He is accompanied by Rohit, his friend, and colleague, throughout. He finds one bad clue after the other, most of which lead nowhere. He comes to know that she had two best friends and a teacher who was intent on moral policing. After facing too many dead ends, he finally hit a solid lead in the form of Sheila, Prithi's neighbor. She faked a note, saying that Prithi's body would be found in a go-down. Turns out, she did it for attention. But all of Vikram's suspicions are centered on her. They also find Prithi's decomposed body, right where Sheila's fake note said it would be. Her car also has soil from that site. She is the prime suspect now. In a surprising turn of events, different people's DNA was found on Prithi's dead body, including her boyfriend, her adoptive father, and her previous warden, making the case impossible to solve. Finally, 
when things come to a standstill, a girl comes to a police station saying that she saw someone in a blue car on the highway, who tried to forcibly approach her, the exact circumstances in which Prithi disappeared. Vikram follows the lead and he finds the person who works as a mechanic in a garage. Upon interrogation, it comes out that the mastermind behind the whole thing was his own colleague, Rohit. He goes to ask him why he did that but Rohit refuses to answer and takes out his gun, prompting Vikram to shoot him in self-defense. Naha is found, tied upstairs, unharmed and safe. Vikram deduces that the reason behind Rohit's actions is his wife, Sapna. She confesses that she and Prithi grew up together in an orphanage and that she had always been in love with her. But when Prithi got adopted, she had to move on in her life. Years later, when she reconnected with childhood love, she was rejected because Prithi was straight. However, Sapna was not ready to give up, and she had Prithi kidnapped, to convince her to start a new life with her. Turns out, it was Sapna who Prithi had been telling to stop contacting her. In the tussle that follows, Prithi got seriously injured and ended up dying. Rohit helped her cover up the crime. He was the one to plant everyone's DNA samples on her body and to frame Sheila further, all in an effort to buy more time till they could move out of the country. They had kidnapped Neha because she was close to discovering them. But they never had any intention of hurting her. As Supna is put behind bars, Vikram finds a letter from Rohit stating that there were never any bullets in his gun. He had also written that he knew Vikram would discover the truth eventually and that he would be glad to die at his hands. It is an emotional moment, about the human errors that end up causing such tragedy, but made so absurd in its execution by a lackluster movie focused entirely on the wrong things. Hit the first case ends with someone trying to shoot Vikram, and barely missing. This is the mystery that will be explored in the sequel.